Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with Gorgeous Hair to bring you this absolutely gorgeous and stunning beauty. She's affordable. This is going to be a beginner friendly install so you'll be able to catch on and get all of the tea on how to get her out of the box and on your head and looking so absolutely gorgeous. So if you're down for the ride, let's get started. So here's my natural hair and an update. I'm trying to grow it out. I want these braids to go like down to my bra strap in the braids, but we're not going to focus on that today. Here is the main character here. This is Honey Spice. She is a tea part lace wig. She has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair into some ponytails or maybe just one and then I'm just going to tuck it into this HD wig cap. These wig caps have been my favorite as of late. Be sure to kind of like push it back so it's not too far up and then I'm just going to Add a little slit in the back so it's not too tight on my hairline. And welcome to Honey Spice. This here is a beautiful main character. She's like a chocolate brown, like a honey brown type of color. As I mentioned, she is a tea part lace wig. So you do get lace, but it's in a set in a tea part. And as you guys seen in the intro and a thumbnail, I'm going to get this one super flat. By default, I'm showing you guys the hairline and all of that. And I'm going to also show you guys how I open that up without plucking or tweezing. The one thing I noticed is that my wig cap did show through on this lace. So I did pull the wig back and just go ahead and buff in a little bit of foundation powder into the lace just to help it to be a lot more flawless. Any step or any imperfection you see in your wig, I always recommend you go in and customize it to make it look as flawless as you can for you. So let's go ahead and pull the hair back and just begin the install process. So I did not bond this one down. It does fit my head snug. From what I remember, this one is a medium size cap. And as you guys can see, she definitely fits glueless. I wanted to go ahead and customize her a little bit. They did advertise this one as a one brush type of thing where you can just literally cut the lace and brush it. But you guys know I want to look like I'm coming out of the salon. I want to be able to finesse. So for my beginner friendly girls or just my friend, my friends who just don't want to do too much, you can definitely cut the lace, brush her out and you'll be good to go. For my girls who want to catch a vibe and just give all of the tea with this one, I'm going to show you a few ways to pretty much make her look like a like a virgin hair like you just spent like $500 on an install I want you to give that when you walk out of the house so here I'm doing the dynamic duo you guys already know it's up with this step I love to do this to really flatten out that parting space especially because this is a tea part I really want it to lay super flat and I don't want it to be bulky by any means be sure to be careful with your heat on this one because this one's premium fibers. Um, it's not like virgin hair. You definitely want to keep your um, hot tools at like three, I believe 350 to 360 max. Um, and just don't go over that because you don't want to burn your hair or risk anything. I went ahead and pulled some hair forward to make baby hair. For me, I didn't want the wig to look, you know, like an affordable wig. Even though she's affordable, I didn't want it to give, ooh, she has an affordable wig. So I did pull some hair forward and make baby hair. As you guys seen, I did use the edge control from BDECBD.com. And then I did also use um, a little bit of the adhesive that I typically would use from Eben. You guys seen, I completely skipped this step of bonding this one down. So technically, she's not bonded down, but technically, I did use the Eben to, like, lay the baby hair down once they're formed and like molded i'll be able to comb them out and lift them but i do love the fact that this wig fits like a glove and as you guys can see i'm feeling the fact of like that one step truly turned it up a notch the hair is super duper duper flat on my head it's giving wig install from your favorite stylist and then for me personally the baby hair did set it off obviously if you don't like baby hair just completely skip that step or if you like baby hair and but you would just want a different shape do you boo do what makes you feel happy one thing i do not recommend you skipping on is to tint the lace i did use a Too faced concealer along the parting it's a lot more warmer than the fenty the fenty one that i typically will use and i love the way it looks on this one and then i did go ahead and add a little bit of foundation powder along the hairline and all you have to do from there is literally comb it out and you're done 
I did not have to add any heat to the curls, literally combed it out and add zero product. Here, I really wanted to show you the packaging. As I mentioned, this is from Gorgeous Hair, and they did include all of the goodies you see here, including this beautiful pouch. This is holographic, and it's reusable. It matches their packaging to the T, and these are the goodies they included inside, the elastic band, these pins, um, you know, everything you see here, these cute little clips that every time they send me a package, my daughter steals those from me, and a nice, fresh pair of tweezers we all need a fresh pair of tweezers and it's just a must when it comes to customizing your hairline but as i mentioned i really do love this one brush style it is very easy to install and as you guys can see it holds a curl absolutely beautiful i did tuck the hair behind my ear to give more of forehead and just natural i didn't want it to look too wiggy or too you know i want to look like Beyonce you know what I mean but I absolutely love this one and I'm looking forward to trying more styles from this collection it's affordable it's beautiful it's easy thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one spooches